this summer video, and today we are helping <laughs> some baby goats be born. It's probably some baby goats. Um, I might, I might just be this one. Okay, anyway. Well, um, she's just having contractions. If you have any other pets who want to keep them away. Um, sorry. Oh, um, okay, so once the baby starts coming out, you will want to put the towel under its head. Make sure that nothing is under the towel. You'll have to kind of pick it up if it's already on the ground. Kind of have to pick it up. It's a slimy, but it's the right thing to do. Okay, so this is the head up here, and this is its little hooks. Okay. Once the head is out, it's pretty easy to get out. If it's still covered in slime and the mama can't like slime it right then, you'll have to kind of take it off around the face. Okay, if she's, having, if she's having trouble, you'll kind of get the baby out. Um, so, okay, it will be a little warm. Push. Um. You'll have to kind of encourage her on to keep so pushing if she stops. Um, you have to pull it out. Okay. So, again, like yeah. my sister told me, you kind of have to pull it out. Okay. <laughs> well, we've got this Let's baby out. Um, okay. If it's sneezing, you will want to take off all or most of the stuff around its face and nose. Especially like its nose and mouth and stuff. Um, if she has another, she'll start having more contractions. Usually the second comes out bit, like easier. So you won't have to worry too, too much about the second one most of the time. Um, after she like sees the baby, she'll pro she usually starts like cleaning it and stuff. Like she's just turning around, so don't worry. Um, if you're worried about this, if you think that's like pee or blood coming out still, it's really not. It's just, again, you'll have to keep your other pets away from the mama and her new baby. Um, she'll just kind of take care of the rest with cleaning it. And so then they're like all happy. Yeah. It's kind of disgusting if you're a new goat farmer. If they're having trouble breathing, you might have to like flip them over and like kind of shake them a little bit. But she, it look, or he, we don't really know yet. You, you chicken. Okay, mm, this sorry. Is a okay. Well, mom, if the umbilical cord's bleeding, do you squeeze it? Yep. Okay, so if the umbilical cord is bleeding, you'll have to just like kind of pinch it to get it to stop. Because that's not good. Don't worry. Oh. Don't worry. That won't hurt the baby. It actually helps the baby. As you can see, the baby isn't like crying or anything. In pain. Okay. Well, this is really gross. <laughs> <laughs> it, it smells really bad. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This sucks <laughs> so bad right now. It does. It's, it, it's not as bad as like feeling it other than it's warm and it's bloody and it's slimy and it smells horrible okay like it smells like vomit Ugh, it's, it's gross okay um they might start crying that's not because it they're like like dead fish that's what it smells it's not like. like because they're like in pain or anything it's just because they're calling to their mom so okay. got the easy job this has been a summer video see you next time